Okay, so first thing I say about this problem is I don't like the way it's drawn. To me, it's drawn in a confusing fashion, and so this is uh, you'll see where my shading technique, I think, is really helpful here. So I'm just shading in all the wires that are connected to the positive side of the battery, and now I'll shade all the wires that are uh, connected to the negative side of the battery. And uh, then it means that there's also this little spot right here that uh, is neither one of those shades. So I'm going to redraw this in a more traditional way of drawing a circuit. I mean, a traditional way of drawing a circuit uh, sort of has the battery on the side like this. And then this wire here, I'm going to represent like this. And then you'll notice there's three different places that uh, charge can go. Charge can go this way, or it can go this way, or it can go that way. And so typically, the way we draw three different branches is what they often call it in circuits is, okay, there's one way it could go, there's another way it could go, there's another way it could go. And now it becomes really clear that these things are in parallel. All of their positive sides are connected to each other. So one of them is this one right here, the 13 microfarad capacitor. Uh, one branch is these two right here, so this one and this one. And the other branch is this one right here. And then they do, the other side of these all come back together on the low side, uh, so like this. And I just think that's a much more clear way of drawing that. Now it's obvious that these three branches are in parallel. These two are in series with each other. Let me just write down the values so it's uh, easier to work with this. So this one is 94.6 volts. This one is 13 microfarads. This one is 31.6 and 68.8 and 78.1. Okay. So to answer this question, I think it was number 25, really the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out before the dielectric was inserted, what is the total amount of charge in this circuit? Because when you remove a battery, that traps the charge. And so the total amount of charge has to stay the same. There's nowhere else it can go. So I'm going to have to find the equivalent um, capacitance first. First thing I'm going to do is combine these two in series. So I have my calculator here, 31.6, reciprocal of that, 68.8, the reciprocal of that, add them together and take the reciprocal of that. <clears throat> and when I do that, I get 21.65 microfarad. So if I redraw this, it's now it's like we have three different capacitors. This one's th still 13, this one's 21.65, and this one is 78.1. Um, and for now, at least, they're still across this battery. So I'm going to find the equivalent capacitance of all three of them, and since they're in parallel, I'm just going to add them together. That makes it real easy. So I'm going to add a 13. I'm going to add the 78.1. So the equivalent capacitance in this first situation, according to my calculator, is 112. Point 75 microfarads and again this is a 94.6 volt so the the original amount of charge this is really important the original amount of charge is the original capacitance times the delta v so that's 112.75 uh, times 94.6 let's see what i get uh big number 10 six 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 no wonder this was an evil problem, 0.4 um, microcoulombs. So let me say again that when we remove the battery, this is still the total amount of charge. And the reason for that is the charge, once the battery's gone, doesn't have anywhere else to go. It's, it's trapped in the circuit. But the voltage will change um, because the charge is going to rearrange itself. Like when we when we uh, insert a dielectric in there, the charge is going to move around, and that's going to also change the voltage because voltage is dependent on charge and capacitance. So next step is I really just have to find the new equivalent capacitance when we add the dielectric. And by the way, I drew it being added in the wrong spot. So um, it says that... Um, Oh, I didn't look up how much, how big the dielectric is. Somehow I missed that. Uh, I still have it on this other screen. Forgive me here. Oh, and these are all the answers you get to see. Let's see, though. 
Um, it must have been number 24. Yeah, 2.99 into the 68.8. 2.99 into the 68.8. Um, so that means that our kappa value is 2.99. And it's going into this uh, 68.8 microfarad capacitor here. So the new capacitance is just uh, kappa times the old capacitance. So 2.99 times 68.8, let's see what that gives us. 2.99 times 68.8 is 205.712 microfarads. That is the new capacitance. So um, that is in series with the 31.6. So now I have to use the series formula to figure out the, the new equivalent capacitance there. So that's, uh, I'm gonna do one over 205.712. I'm gonna do one over 31.6. I'm gonna add those together and take the reciprocal of that. And so I get 27.39 microfarads. So notice that before it was 21.65, now it's 27.39. Let me just redraw this so it's not too confusing. We, so we still have the, the 13 microfarad now we have a 27.39 microfarad and we still have the 78.1 microfarad and uh, by the way they're not connected to a battery anymore but we can still find the equivalent capacitance of those three they're parallel so we merely add them together i'm doing that and i'm getting 118.49 microfarads so this number is different from that number, um, but the charge is the same. So let's find the new voltage. Voltage equals charge divided by capacitance. By the way, everything has the same voltage here because they're all in parallel. Uh, I should say everything, this and this and this all have the same voltage as one another because they're all in parallel with one another. So um, the charge, which has stayed the same, is 10,666.5 microcoulombs. But the new capacitance is 118.49 microfarads. So that gives us our new voltage of pretty much exactly 90 volts on my calculator, 90.0 volts. And again, since they're in parallel, that means that uh, all three of these that you see here have that same voltage. Well, we're, we're focused in on the middle one. So let's see if we can find the charge now um, because Q equals C delta V. So this equivalent capacitance here is 27.39 microfarads. That's the new equivalent capacitance. Uh, and the new voltage is 90 volts. And so that gives us a charge. All right, got to multiply by 27.39. That gives us a charge of 2,465.6 microcoulombs. And uh, since that represents two capacitors that are in series with each other, that, I think, is the answer to our question. What was the question that was asked? Oh, no, what will be the charge on the 78.1 microfarad capacitor? All right, well, okay. Um, I'm going to, I just used the wrong capacitance. So Q equals 78.1 times 90. Everything has that same new voltage of 90 because um, they're in parallel with each other. So 78.1 times 90. I, honestly, I was sweating there when I got that answer because I knew it was the wrong answer and I didn't want to re-record this, but 70 uh, 7,029 microcoulombs is the right answer. All right. Hope